Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. I thought today we would jump on and do a really quick project as I'm getting ready for a local class. This project is actually going to be my photo sample that I'm using for the class that I have coming up and it is called Dreams. The saying is you don't need wings to fly, dreams are all you need. And I'm going to do a really simple project with this on a board that I have in my stash. This is a a chipboard piece that has a chalkboard cover on it so it's nice and smooth and I am going to go ahead flip this over and write the name of the transfer on the back of the carrier sheet this one is called dreams and that's going to help me know which side of the carrier sheet to replace my design transfer after it's been used and cleaned and dry we want to dry it sticky side up and then we want to put it back on the carrier sheet and one side is dull the other side is shiny and the shiny side is where we want it to go but we want to go ahead and label it just to make it easy to tell let's see if we can show the shiny side there we go. So this is a vinyl material that has silk screen built into it. And so where you see the white shining through is actually ultra fine mesh of the silk screen. So the first thing we want to do is fuzz up our transfer because it is super sticky. So I've got my fuzzing cloth. This is a chalk couture fuzzing towel. And I'm going to just lift part of the transfer off of the backer sheet then I'm going to remove the backer sheet from the transfer that gives me a little bit of control and reduces the static cling and let's go ahead and fuzz that up now I am using a surface that is out of my stash it is not a chalk couture surface so I'm going to go ahead and fuzz this up five times that just allows some of the stickiness from the vinyl to pick up the fuzz from the fuzzing cloth and be just a little bit less sticky it's going to help me when I get done with the project and I need to take it off of the board we don't want it to stick because this fabric can stretch and this has got a huge open space in here so we don't don't want it to tear. Let me set that aside and now we are ready to place our transfer and I'm just going to be eyeballing it. I do want it to be a little bit at an angle. I'm looking at how far away I have the tail from the side and the beak from the side and I think that's going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and go over it with my hand just so that it's down in the areas that the silk screen is at so we don't need to worry about the other areas of the vinyl they don't have to be stuck down quite as um, securely because we're not going to be doing anything with them now these are optional pieces I'm not going to be using those today we're just going to go very simply with the dove I'm just lifting that up so that it makes it easy for me when it's time to remove it there we go. I'm going to be using Chalkology paste in our signature color that is Couture Teal. And so let me open the jar and grab my stir stick. There it is. I'm going to give this a quick stir. That beautiful color. And we want it to run off of the spoon kind of like cake batter would. So that tells me that it's the perfect consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and take about a half of a teaspoon and I'm going to put that here on the dove and using one of our mini squeegees, I'm just going to move this around and cover the entire surface of this dove so that we can't see the silk screen shining through anymore. I'm picking up the excess as I go along. A little bit does go a long way. And by picking up the excess, I'm able to spread it around really easily. You can go in all directions. 
you just want to work somewhat quickly because you don't want your chalk paste to dry. If it dries in the silk screen, you can um, have it be a little bit distorted, and that's not the look we're going for with this particular design. Some of our designs are made to have some distressing in them. This one is not. All right, we've got it covered. I'm going to put that excess right back in the jar. There is quite a bit of excess on here. And we put it back in the jar so we can use it another time. Fantastic. Make sure there's no lines. And we are ready to reveal. Now I'm going to take it straight up towards the ceiling. You want to go top to bottom or side to side. You do not want to go diagonal. And you want to pull up to the ceiling, not towards yourself. And that just reduces the amount of um, curling and stretching and distortion of the actual design. Fantastic. There we have it. I am loving this design and I really like the pop of the couture teal on the black. It's really, really nice. That is going to look great on our bookshelf and it's going to photograph perfectly for my upcoming class. So that's going to be great. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little project with Chalk Couture. If you have any questions, please send me a PM so I can get back with you about Chalk Couture or my swap group on Facebook. I would love to have you join and be a part of the fun. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and then go over and click the little bell. That's going to let you know each time that I upload new videos and I would love to have you along for the fun. Remember, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and happy crafting.